Jitishri, are you there? Uh, yes, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So give us give us five ten minutes. No problem, madam. I am there. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Not issue.
Chitashri, can we begin? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I think we should begin, Chitashri. Oh, I would like to welcome Mr. Rajesh Javare, sir, who is here to guide us. Mr. Rajesh Javare, sir, is proficient with degree polytechnic engineering, teaching and administration, operational knowledge of principles and practices of modern engineering degree diploma colleges in accordance with DTE, AICTE procedure. Sir is certified career mentor guiding students of all age groups in the selection of right futuristic career. Sir is a strong educational professional with a BE, MTech and PhD focused in industrial engineering and operations management from PRMIT, BNIT and RGPV. Now I would like to request honorable guests Mr. Rajesh Javare, sir, to take over and give us some of his insightful thoughts about the topic. Yes. Thank you, Chetasmi. Yes, I have made you the yes. host. Yes, so I can present my screen, no? Yeah. Yes, sir. Absolutely. <laughs> Are you able to see the screen now? Yes. yes. Sir. So thank you, Chetasri. Thank you, ma'am, for a nice introduction and inviting me for delivering the session on entrepreneurial essentials of entrepreneurship and uh, the career options. The impact lecture series is one uh, one of the added uh, feather in the IIC and due to which we are able to conduct the session on different topics. Uh, today's topic, if I tell you in uh, a brief, is there is no task which is easy. We will begin with this sentence that no task is easy in life. Now, and we think of entrepreneurship. You know, someone has said sometime, the road less traveled. And in India is an opportunity for, uh, actually the India, uh, India land is an opportunity for young India. Now, who is in India? You all who are students of professional institutions, other degree courses, sciences, they are all these young India. Okay. And now why? Uh, so there, there are, there are a lot of opportunities available to you. And let me come to the next slide, which will help you understand what, uh, what does it mean? I hope many of you are familiar with this particular uh, graph or a picture or a bar diagram. Have you gone through this, anyone? Do you have a taste of this particular slide? I, I, I'm asking you students, you can uh, use the chat box if uh, you want to uh, respond, okay, or else uh, you can 
answer me through your uh, by unmuting yourself so i hope many of you are very much familiar with this particular uh, slide doesn't it says or it indicates that india is the road less traveled isn't it so see the kind of jump our country has made in the last particularly 6 7 years from 81st position to 46th position it shows that something is happening right and uh, you are a party to it and you are experiencing that i hope uh, you majority or many of you must have experience must to be experiencing this thing okay so this presentation is made for you entrepreneurship and innovation has always been our dna someone said uh, you are familiar with the theory of, I, i hope you are management students and you must be familiar with the theory of welfare of nations i have heard about this uh, book theory of welfare of nations wealth of nation or welfare of nation being a management students are you familiar with this yes sir yes sir yeah very good very nice okay so going to the ancient time or ancient time that we know it it was it is in entrepreneurship is in our dna and the new word which has been introduced it's not new actually but it's had become so popular if you can if you know the entrepreneurship and innovation the under entrepreneurship is a known word to every pro, every every field and every profession because they are only uh, driving the economy and driving the economic forces innovation is just an addition to it okay but that is also not new if you if you see that the most popular word in the 21st century which was googled or research on the internet you will come to know it is it is it is innovations it is innovations okay now just go through this particular slide and see that you being a management graduates studying a first year or a second year of a management education and what are the options before you okay you have a taste of economy you know what is formal sector you know what is informal sector and this is the current status of the jobs in india right there are three crores of jobs in the formal sector and there are four to five crores of jobs in the informal sector which we call as a micro small and medium enterprises which is also including the farming uh, and non farming organizations so these are all uh, informal organizations or non farming organizations okay and with the advent of technology and the majority of the businesses are uh, driven by the uh, technology uh, in the present time also and in future also there is only thing which is true in that jobs are going to be reduced in the large corporations and the medium scale corporations the permanent jobs will become a history okay and then you have a dilemma that what to do are you finding this question are you are you asking this question with yourself how many of you are asking this question with yourself or you have you have asked can anyone tell me students please answer have you ever thought of this thing if you are a second year student have you ever uh, have you ever thought that next july 1st or august 1st where you will be Hmm? Have you ever thought of 
this thing that on next first july 2023 where you will be what you will be doing if you are uh, are you are a secondary students or first year students first year first year students okay theek okay. hai uh you will not be in 23 but you will be uh, you obviously you will have to do something on 1st of july or 1st of august on 2024 right yes sir so yes sir yeah very good very nice so can you do you have an answer for that hmm no answers or any answers do i expect any answers that's the big question actually there lies the importance of this particular portfolio this particular domain of entrepreneurship and innovations right am i audible to you yes sir yes sir very much audible na yes sir yeah yes sir okay so you are now running in your 20s around 23 20, maybe 22 23 24 okay and how much to earn and how to earn that will be a question in your mind when you enter into a second year of a your management degree okay on the other side we have a retirement age and life expectancy understand what is the retirement age normally the person gets retired from the formal service at the age of 60 years 62 years and even after that there is a enough number of years one can get to spend on the planet around 20 years that is life expectancy and life expectancy is improving uh, if you see the last 20 years it has improved from 67 to 73 years now okay and if you if you see ki what are the options available to you in this career can you ever thought of entrepreneurship as a career how many of you can i know that some of you could swas yes swas hmm i guess students are taking time to open up so <laughs> i chose yeah. it's okay it's okay no problem no problem we have time so see no task is easy easy that i told you in the beginning even arranging a lecture especially a guest lecture from the outsider for a faculty coordinator as well as for a student coordinator is not an easy task there are there are number of things that you need to make arrangement for and we thank the technology that we are uh, meeting because of uh, due to this uh, uh, technological advancements and availability of technology okay so uh, no task is easy that I, what i mean to what i mean to say so what are the other options the other options are to the uh, path of innovation and entrepreneurship right so just understand what is the difference between this innovation and entrepreneurship so innovation is actually a problem oriented thing wherein you are undergoing within a problem or finding out a solution but the things doesn't stop there the things every and every entrepreneur wants to take that things to the next next higher level or next scale okay so the if if, if it is idea and only the uh, the the person is only spending the time only on developing the ideas and finding out the solution that's that's not enough that's not sufficient so that idea is to be converted for scaling and there must be a execution of that idea so if you think of execution of that idea 
that idea execution of idea that may not be maybe the so, same person may be doing that idea or maybe sometimes this uh, the uh, the idea will be executed by some other person okay so that is that is something different okay uh, not necessarily that innovator uh, should be entrepreneur and uh, there is a, a debate over that whether the innovator uh, innovation innovation innovative person should be entrepreneur or sh shall be shall he not so that is all different things okay but what what what's important is you have to have an idea or uh, innovative idea which is problem focus and wherein you are developing a solution for that problem okay so that's about innovation now entrepreneurship is something different which is execution of the problem okay but execution is just you are finding developing a uh, prototype developing a product and once the product is developed that has to be tested in the market so whether the product is fit in the market or not okay whether the customers uh, like that product or not and then the scaling there is some disturbance to be kindly mute their phones Okay. Yeah, thank you, sir. So basically, entrepreneurship is about working on the innovation and idea and converting that, uh, executing that idea and converting it into a useful solution, which is uh, with the use of uh, maybe a technology, maybe some resources, uh, uh, the mobilizing of other resources. And then using that product for the mankind and fulfilling the expectations of the customers. So that's uh, and then reaching to the newer and newer market. That's that's that scaling. Okay. So life is all about creating values, taking calculated risks, listening to the listening to your heart, and realizing your aspirations. So these are the people that we have made some mark on the society. <laughs> Support. Few people like Indian examples, like particularly the Vargas Kurian, who is known as a person of milk revolution. Amul, who has created the brand of Amul, is Vargas Kurian. So these are the entrepreneurs actually who have uh, created their own identity and that have made this world, uh, made this uh, known to the world, rest of the world. Uh, these are the different items that we are using and we are finding this, uh, we are using it for our own purposes. And these are the examples of the young uh, entrepreneurs who have worked on their ideas and uh, they could uh, work on the startups. But there is one story behind these startups. I hope you are all familiar with this startup story. You know how many uh, uh, how many startups uh, what is the percentage of failure or percentage of success of the uh, startups in our country or in general any guess is there any guess that how many percentage of 70% okay good 80 to 90% yeah. 90% okay 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 any any other appropriate value you know the, the according to the global survey more than uh, 87 to 90 percent of the startups get fell in this first instance read my words and uh, uh, just uh, understand the word in the first instance or first uh, trial okay it doesn't mean that the startup has got the complete uh, in, uh, complete entity has got uh, failed okay so failing is not collapsing per, completely collapsing failing is just failing once is not that the, that particular venture will not going will not going to take shape it doesn't mean okay but so it's a wrong conception so it's a completely wrong conception that 90% or 87% of the startups get failed 
no they get fail in first instance they then rework on it and then they again uh, try to uh, stand up okay so norm, uh, the average uh, this thing but still uh, 40% of the uh, companies uh, globally uh, it, it's a, it's a statistics available and 40% of the companies uh, get uh, uh, collapsed or failed uh, because of the reasons that they could not work on their ideas right but these are the examples and they have set the uh, examples for the new generation of entrepreneurs that yes entrepreneurship as an is an career option and can be a career option and it we can work on that right yes sir yes thank you now why you should be why you should think of entrepreneurship as a career option we have discussed in the first slide in the very first slide that uh, there are three crores of jobs available with the formal sector and more than around uh, four to five crores of jobs with the informal and small organizations okay and in the you know in the transformation process what has what has happened what has happened in the last 15 years the changing nature of work and office you know the meetings the uh, the interactions are not happening at the formal places in the offices so there is a change in work culture and there is a change in offices so that is also one of the reason that one must understand that what one should do yes was ask me so as you raise your hand you want to ask something so as okay so i would like to just throw some light on this particular thing which is very very important from the career point of view can you see this slide on the left hand side of this slide you can see there is world of work understand and on the right hand side this is you okay so left hand side of this is there are type of work that the field wherein you want to work or you want to create your identity as a with particular title then the field of work which field has a growth that's a big that's a important question before you that uh, there are different there are number of fields maybe from insurance to banking to manufacturing to chemical to aviation to uh, uh, to digital uh, businesses banking so these are uh, printing so these are different areas of businesses right now which one you will be you are we will be uh, you will be good at and what are the different futuristic options that is the that is the real questions that and there there you face a difficulty that where should i get into and what should i do isn't it and then finally if you want to earn something there are ways of earning the earning for the living living so what are that ways you may be get into businesses you may be get into an entrepreneurship you may get into service you may be a freelancer or a consultant or a professional right so these are some of the options that you have now you need to make a decision on uh, this particular uh, side that uh, world of work that what you are about so sorry what is available to you what are the opportunities available to you in the world of work and then this is you you have a purpose of life that what for you are there why you are why you are got into a management education what you are going to get from that will it going to give you some kind of identity okay and obviously there will be some kind of some aspirations at the end of the when you complete your education part right so what what need to be what need to be 
answered here is what need to be batch uh, to be worked on here is here the world of work that what opportunities are available in the market in the economy and what you are and where you can fit uh, in this particular environment so setting a perfect career destination is a big question for any student right i hope many of you must have done some exercise and you must be thinking for getting into getting into it right yes sir okay so you must have worked on this so this is where the uh, solution or uh, the entrepreneurship as a career option uh, that you may you may think of which will help you under help you give some solutions to what are aspi- what what are your aspiration what are your expectations okay and you can you can uh, relate it to that what are the fields that which are the different fields that you are interested in and what what has clicked you that what is what is your passion what is your interest so if it at all it is your entrepreneurship is your passion you must go with that and you must uh, uh, pursue your entrepreneurship as your career option right yes sir yeah so just do the assessment of yourself that which are which field you are interested in what are the opportunities available and how you can fit into that opportunity so that you can prosper there okay so there are n number of directions which are available it is depending upon you that which directions you get into which direction you wants to get into and uh, but there are certain things that you need to look into before you get into uh, the particular direction okay so what are the important things that uh, you must think before making a choice so the first thing which is important is don't choose because you have got good marks in any subject is that right it does make sense yes sir so uh, what does what does it mean so you might be good at the initial stages but that doesn't mean that you can work up on it for whole life correct for, for different so, okay so you must have done your science education you must have done your engineering education pharmacy education because management accept students from different uh, streams right the spending four years of time into that particular education field should not decide your career path for 35 or 25 to 30 years to 40 years right so don't make uh, Uh, don't choose because that you have got good marks into that subjects that was because of your only the performance in writing the examination and the things that were asked uh, that were coincided with what you studied right and uh, you could score the good marks so that's that's can that can be the reason instead find what you really enjoy what are your interests and what what you are passionate about right then it's not key to fulfill someone's dreams is this uh, you could properly understand the meaning of this particular sentence to fulfill someone else dream yes sir where from this dreams comes sir other entrepreneurs uses us as labor in order to fulfill their own dreams no one no, must no. one of work no it, that's that's not true i don't agree with this sentence this is this is something different to fulfill someone's else dreams means it is see we have we have we have our family and our parents have our own ex- their expectations from their child right okay so, so that way sometimes sometimes, sometimes it may happen that uh, because of certain difficulties they uh, uh, would not pursue a particular career particular profession so they want their child to pursue that career right so that's what is a someone's dream family traditions ekade family me agar doctor se doctor se Uh, lawyer see lawyer say so they want everyone to become a lawyer everyone to become a doctor right so that should also uh, but uh, the situation and the uh, things are little bit uh, change in the uh, among the parent community student community these days and uh, people uh, like particularly the parents are taking uh, the views of uh, their views of their children views of their wards and they are giving importance to their interest and all and uh, Uh, the another thing is uh, in this uh, the fifth line is about the fancy attractions so fancy attractions attractions are the web shows uh, the web series is talk shows uh, wherein uh, there is a fascination uh, created 
about a particular uh, profession or a field and then the students uh, get into uh, wants to get into that okay so that also uh, should not happen so these are some of the important important points that one must one must think uh, before getting into any 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 profession right okay so the stages there are uh, there are stages in the uh, career planning have you understood can you i'll just explain what is career planning is career planning is you are making the your own career path so it if it is an entrepreneur entrepreneurial career path that what are the uh, educational paths educational directions which are available okay so that can be possible with the help of some kind of assessment so assessment uh, uh, maybe a formal assessment or you are uh, you are keenly interested into a particular discipline uh, that can be that can be known through certain tests certain assessments okay then you can work on different options that whichever are reflecting in your assessment okay then feedback accordingly you join the program okay and then you can develop your career so career development so career planning includes uh, the starting from the education deciding the career path working on the career path completing that education getting into a um, employment or a, a kind of a career opportunity not not necessarily the employment okay a job is the only popular a uh, way of uh, getting into a career that's why it is become more popular otherwise uh, there are other uh, means as well that uh, you must be uh, you must be uh, aware with and you must you must know can i know some ways of finding the livelihood hmm? how do you want to earn do you understand the sentence meaning of this sentence how do you want to earn yes sir but what's that so the first one will be the capital source the main source of income rather other sources could be uh, investments or passive sources of income we can invest into okay but passive source sources are something different which are not considered as a major main source na yes sir but then again with the time if we uh, en enter into some kind of entrepreneurial uh, zest as a passive source and with the time if it gets better then we can leave our job and make it as our livelihood so that's what i am planning to do very Going nice to join the... okay okay very nice very very nice to very nice to know very nice to know so uh, this is what every student can work on every students can give some thought to it that what he or she actually wants to do then only uh, there is a uh, proper uh, direction and one can get settled into a career uh, or a life at a early stage and as early as possible right so coming to the direction career planning education you all know what is education okay uh, how many of you agree that uh, the to get succeed in entrepreneurship that you need to have a formal education no sir not exactly necessary sir not exactly because if you go into a history and if you see the uh, previous examples of a uh, like even from even tatas and birlas they, they were not formally educated so as such education does not require any formal qualification okay but but in the present time, but in the present time but in the present time uh, education has become an important uh, aspect of everyone's life in fact whether you want to get into a uh, entrepreneurship as a career or you get into an employment there are reasons for that if if you see the last 30 years majority of the employments which are or the employees or a jobs or a titles or a different uh, jobs which are available in the market or with the corporates that are Uh, main qualification and education based and skill based so unless and until you are educated to perform that particular task you are not in a position to work on it so developing the skills so so you 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 gain some theoretical background to the education and then you work on uh, your interest and then then uh, that will help you to reach your career goal so education has become an important aspect in any career decisions nowadays then the difference between job and career job is different and job actually people are changing jobs in the career 
and they are doing doing job is employment so job is the uh, one of the very very popular uh, thing or the popular um, way of earning and that's the reason that uh, it is uh, synonymously uh, actually understood that uh, uh, it's a career okay but that is not the only career option there are there may be other career options as well that uh, entrepreneurship uh, the uh, freelancer consultant okay uh, these, these are the different options uh, of a uh, career so job is the only uh, job is the one other one option which is very very popular then coming to the uh, career what is what is what is career is career is not only that what you understand and what you learn in the education system and uh, what 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 you uh, pursue what kind of uh, uh, things you uh, do in the in your uh, work life it's not only about the work life it's about what are the activities that you perform at home at work uh, then education what is your qualification your skills and how you get involved into other extracurricular activities also so that that the combination of or the mix of all these things makes into a career okay so it includes the uh, time which you are spending for learning the new things and uh, it can also be a purpose of existing to make your uh, earnings so uh, without earning is there any significance or importance to a career if you are not making any earnings how i i have could you find any uh, such kind of examples that people have made a career and uh, they could not uh, they are not earning anything but they are very known sir swami is an all okay. the one ngo swami is the one who work for social welfare so that's even, their life's purpose it's even a career they are even ngo has to also file the returns ngos are for sp some specific purposes right maybe some social causes maybe some religious causes yes, or, dif or different types of uh, dif they, they, they might be having different purpose the sole objective of uh, even uh, i have one example to show you here just a minute ha ah, yes see this left hand side how many of you know this gunj have you heard about this ngo that you mentioned yes, gunj what what for it is known what do they do hmm? disaster relief disaster relief right correct so there is one mr gupta who is associated amit gupta who is associated with this gunj and uh, you know what is the story behind this uh, uh, this um, ngo is form there was yes, the, uh, in in orissa in 2000 in uh, 1999 there was a devastating storm or a cyclone not storm it was cyclone and uh, Uh, during that like one uh, uh, many people uh, lost their lives their belongings and their properties and they were uh, literally on the um, they were, they had nothing with them okay so the what this this gentleman has done uh, this gentleman has identified an opportunity into that and what he did is he has uh, started collecting the old uh, used clothes from the rest of the country so that it can be distributed uh, to the people who have got affected uh, uh, that uh, in that like cyclone and uh, that was a, a beginning of this uh, gunj and now if you if you see if you uh, visit the website you will find uh, that the, they have regional offices and they have uh, they are collecting a huge amount of a uh, material from the people and they are distributing uh, to the areas where people are having shortages of or scarcity of right so that's how uh, that uh, you just mentioned about uh, this thing so gunj is the best example of uh, ngo one, one of the best example of ngo likewise there are many many ngos which are working for the social uh, causes 
then coming to the job and the occupations is it one and the same thing no it's not job is the person which is uh, performing some activities or performing some work and occupation is a group of similar jobs like uh, a medicine profession or a health profession that we consider in health profession you see there are different uh, specialist doctors they someone someone is oncologist someone is pathologist okay physician so these are the different jobs these people are performing but they are into they are into one occupation so occupation is a specific category of work even that is applicable to the field of justice and judiciary so there are lawyers there are magistrates there are judges but what what are all these people doing they are doing a similar kind of a work but their but their roles and responsibilities are different okay or nature of work is different so occupation is just a combination of different jobs so the person can have several different jobs within the occupation now coming to the entrepreneurship decisions depends upon what so the first important decisions about the entrepreneurship is about the uh, need now where from this need comes from we used to travel or we are still traveling many a times by different uh, transportation means so particularly very when you are traveling within the city so which are the different modes of transport uh, transport available to you public and private transport public public transport private transport and if you want to use the private transport in the earlier time before ola and uber what we used to have the rickshaws and taxis we used to have rickshaws and taxis and for taxis do you know what kind of struggle we need to make before we book the taxi so that is all known yes sir so what this uh, uh, what is the new age entrepreneurship has given us ola and uber us? ola and uber but what what if that has that are just examples but what what they have what kind of train, what kind of service what, what kind of strain they have said they have made our lives easier 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 <laughs> correct 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 with the with the use of technology did anyone find the need of this earlier before they entered into this no now you have a mobile phone and we are doing all your banking transactions happening yes sir so, so need need is a uh, first most important thing that uh, one should one should uh, understand and one should when think of entrepreneurship decisions depend upon the need so there are n number of examples uh, the best of the best product which is which was developed during the lockdown or a pandemic period was can anyone tell the best of the best products which are so popular these days and that were that were developed during the pandemic are these applicable to you can you can you think of it and can you work on it yes sir. I, i'll tell you what are the products you can i i want to ask i have to know something from you oximeter sir correct okay oximeter was there in the existence but there was no widespread use of that so the uh, home delivery of vegetable apps like monday home, home delivery vegetable apps correct correct you are coming closer to the answer online medicine pharma is even all online medicines were there that time you know e learning platforms yes sir hmm were these platforms available earlier no sir very few but even if they were available now they were not known even the platform which we are using the zoom meeting platform this platform was available but many of many of us did not know how to use it and you know uh, during the first month of a pandemic uh, like like march april and may 
how many users millions of users uh, were uh, searching out for zoom and what what zoom did zoom has increased its uh, tariff charges and also now uh, they are charging the gst and all earlier it was free the versions were free and now they have come with different solutions of uh, zoom platform for different users like webinar there is a different user like for uh, teaching uh, online meetings and all there is a different uh, different version different verticals so this is how the products need based need based products so all that products which you have mentioned right from the uh, online medicine to online food app based products uh, majority or may, uh, uh, many of the products which have got popular during the uh, pandemic situation and particularly coming to the uh, that is the e learning platform okay then the next the second important thing as for an entrepreneur is passion you know the uh, what are what is this uh, passion is about how to know this passion that what are the things that you are interested in and you want to pursue that in, as a your career how to know this that you are passionate about it someone is passionate about it is there any ways and means to know this passion there are no ways to know the passion if you are playing if, if you are playing it's if you are, if you are playing, sorry sir it's all about self introspection self interest okay so if you are playing with a car or a models of a car in the when you are a child does it mean that you will become an automobile automobile engineer is it your passion can it be your passion can it be called as your passion or are you are fond of watching uh, a uh, aeroplanes flying in the sky and you want to become a pilot uh, does it make sense yes is that the way to know your passion what is required for understanding and knowing the passion is it possible without the deep thought no it's not it requires a deep thought about a particular thing then only you can you can understand whether you are passionate about it or not and uh, to prove your passion what is required to be done if you are suppose uh, you uh, let me tell you an example so you suppose you are uh, appearing for an interview uh, maybe uh, maybe finance maybe marketing or a operations or a systems or, or any any uh, functional uh, manager that you are appearing for an interview and the interviewer is asking you the uh, why you want to join this particular field what will what are the possible answers that you have how you how will you convince that you are passionate about it is will there be any will there be any answer that about this you are uh, you will be able to uh, tell about that uh, you, you are really passionate about that how will you prove that you are passionate about that if if that job is offered to you or if that role is offered to you any answer how to know the passion simple answer there are 50 students available hmm? no one is passionate because uh the thing which i like to do uh, without getting tired is my passion hmm? now how will you prove that you are passionate about it if if if, if you are asked in an interview that uh, why you want to join it how you prove that you will it will be uh, it, it is your passion you should you should have something na, to show 
academic performance is not a not a not a only criteria you know you can you can answer in the way yes sir i have done so many number of yeah, this many number of internships in this particular area these are the publications or presentations i have made in this particular field right <coughs> these are my writings in the particular field right can this be the possible answers that to prove your passion so that you will get selected yes sir yeah so that's what i was expecting from you so it's a similar thing is about entrepreneurship so earlier in the earlier time there used to be no courses for entrepreneurship nowadays there are there are courses even aict is offering mba in uh, venture uh, formation and uh, innovations and venture creations uh, there is a institution like uh, entrepreneurship development of uh, develop uh, entrepreneurship development uh, institution of uh, india edi <coughs> at ahmedabad they are also offering the courses like pgdm in family business pgdm in uh different different uh, specializations okay so that way you can identify the identify the passion and join the course now talent is obviously it's a it's a academic performance uh, can be known by the uh, score and what kind of a score you have uh, what uh, score you have attained okay then there are some principles decisions based on uh, the entrepreneurship decisions based on some principles as well so what are what are these principles is about that uh, someone uh, just said sometime before that uh, entrepreneurs are employing the people and they are making their success based on uh, the others contribution right so there are there are there are people or there are there are personalities that uh, they don't want to be ruled by others x type of people okay x category people so they have their own principle sets with them and they don't want to make a compromise with their principles and that's the reason that they get into entrepreneurship then aims of life achieving something different making a product differentiation i don't want to do go the way people uh, goes way i want to do uh, something different so that is that can be a aim of life very so keep dreaming big in life is always always is always helps so one must think big then only the, you can achieve the things if you don't think big then you won't be achieving the things in life okay so the to uh, the another most important thing is that know yourself clearly before you take up a career as a choice okay and that is equally applicable to the field of entrepreneurship as well so entrepreneurship decisions or the life decisions whether we want to get into this field that depends upon need passion talent principles aim of life and better you know yourself okay so the potential entrepreneur uh, should have the clear assessment about the knowledge that is related to a person skills are developed how the skills uh, what kind of skills the person possesses or person uh, can work on and develop that skills okay and then this though these two two things are internal intrinsic we can call knowledge and skills the third one is opportunities that opportunities is the external environment so one a, a, an entrepreneur must be uh, must identify the what are the how is the environment business environment and he must he or she must have a clear understanding of the business environment and uh, then only uh, it is, uh, he or she can uh, get succeed in the uh, in in the in the career in the career so the, these are the some of the important uh, traits of the uh, potential entrepreneur opportunities skill and knowledge so now uh, whether you are am i made for it and what is important to me so that we have already uh, understood in the beginning of the session that uh, idea is not an important thing but execution of idea so even idea is also important and execution is also equally important so am i made for that idea will that idea work for me 
can i be able to execute this idea so that i can uh, gain from that idea i can make my own entrepreneurship entrepreneurs from that so that is these are the two things which are very very important uh, in the process of assessment if you want to get into entrepreneurship then market demand uh, it might have happened many a times that the idea was good and the execution is also good okay but still entrepreneur could not good could not could not get succeed in the uh, journey of uh, entrepreneurship or in the venture can you can one of you tell me that uh, what is this market demand and how that can be overcome yes students are you are you with me all of you students does it really make sense yes, to discuss these things with you absolutely yes, sir yes, beautiful sir. very teaching session sir i just hope students actually get uh, the gist of what uh, you are mentioning fantastic students please answer idea is also there good execution has also happened <laughs> but still the venture could not reach to a uh, extent or a, to a level that uh, or a scale that it was expected to reach do you have any idea about a market fit have you heard about this this phrase or this word product market fit what is this product market fit have you heard about does it make any sense in the arena of entrepreneurship yes anyone? sir anyone yes so uh, what what is this market fit is about product market fit sir i think that product will be uh, is important in that uh, at that time to the people see the assessment assessment of the market must be done at the right time that what are the expectations of the customers right and if that assessment uh, could not be done and if there is any gap okay there is that that gap will be responsible for that the product which is made or the services which are being offered that are not fit for the market right so people will not buy it right so that will affect the market demand is it so validation of the product developing the prototype validation of the product and in that validation whether the product is fit for that market is or not that is very very important otherwise even if there is a demand but you are not able to tap that potential demand and convert it into a revenue that venture or that entrepreneurs uh, efforts does not make any sense right and then the capital to start you know there is a misconception that majority of the businesses or the startups which are uh, which fails due to lack of capital i i hope you also have a similar information or a similar misconception right the cap you know the capital is not a uh, source of failure for a venture okay you know where the ventures get fail what are the reasons for failing in the venture uh, there is no sufficient awareness of the product in the market yes but the most of the entrepreneurs who got fail into their venture it is because of that they could not assess the what is the right time to get into the market okay the proper execution of an idea in spite of that they are having a capital sufficient capital to uh, back their venture so these are these are the very very important reasons or the causes that the uh, capital is not a reason for uh, failing the startups execution not assess no uh, assessment of the market these are the basic uh, reasons that the 
ventures may get there, right so capit uh, and and in these days you all know that what are the different types of schemes available from the different ministries of the government whether it is a state government or a central government if you have an idea and if you want to work on that idea and if that idea clicks there are n number of venture capitalists which are ready to invest into uh, your proposal and your your idea and that they can fund you uh, any of the amount if they find it it's very lucrative and very attractive right so capital to start is not a question initially it may uh, uh you and majority of the time what happens the first generation and entrepreneurs what they are thinking about is uh, they need a huge capital to start a business and that's the reason that they uh, because uh, see the question of capital comes when the question of capital when comes when you are thinking of scaling of the business not before that what is in the first instance what is important for a business proposal is to work on your idea you create a um, Uh, product which is uh, acceptable to the market which is in the need which is needed in the market okay later on the things uh, can be uh, thought of uh, as as far as the scaling of the business is concerned and the uh, the need of capital is concerned right so these are some of the qualities that the successful entrepreneurs so we will not uh, read this okay but uh, these are very very important uh, these are the qualities of the successful entrepreneurs uh the most important is uh, the persistence and winning <coughs> ability okay out of this and risk taking these are these three uh, and uh, obviously he must be motivated for risk taking right so these are some of the 20 characteristics uh, quali- uh, the qualities that the entrepreneur uh, successful entrepreneur should have to have then uh skills also equally important are the skills so there can be interpersonal skills self confidence financial skills technical skills communication skills marketing skills and technological skills now according to me there are only three skills which are required in the first generation entrepreneur can you identify out of these seven that which are the first three skills which are required in a person to become successful confidence communication skill first is interpersonal yeah Obviously. then confidence and then self marketing con- self confidence self confidence and communication right these are the three skills which must be there in a person so that uh, he can he or she can work on uh, the venture with the confidence okay so communication is required for negotiations for discussions for conducting meetings people who are uh, associated with the ideas okay then uh, and unless and until you have a knowledge uh, you won't get a self confidence okay and then the interpersonal skills for uh, building team uh, discussing with the people uh, then uh, communication so all this communication motivation leadership that comes under the uh, how to uh deal with the people and all how to form the uh, get the work done and all that that is all interpersonal skills uh the second uh phase of uh, skills are financial skills technical skills marketing skills and technological skills so technological is about the advancements that are to be brought into a venture with the use of technology into a processes for the making of the products and services marketing Uh, that can be acquired or they can there can be a different hand which can be hired or that can be there can be a collaboration with the marketing firm okay for technological things also there can be a collaboration for technical skills there can be a training programs which can be attended by the person where there is, uh, is lack of uh, where is feeling that uh, deficient of knowledge okay and then finance is not an area of an entrepreneur always or majority of the times so financial skills are also can be acquired from a uh experts and or that can be outsourced also so uh, to some to some extent in the in the beginning till the venture uh, reaches to its uh, uh completes its graduation periods and reaches to its self sufficiency okay so that's the reason that there are uh, there are um, there are uh, big kind of a infrastructure which has which has been created uh, into the society in the form of incubation centers 
wherein they are offering uh, this kind of a support like marketing uh, support technological support financial support through the venture capitalist and uh, even uh, to some extent technological advancements also so they are uh, doing a kind of a uh, linkages with the uh, for the purpose of collaborations with the industries and the people uh, who are experts into that field and that way uh, the entrepreneurs are getting uh, a kind of a support and that's the reason they are uh, now getting attracted towards the incubation uh, centers that uh, if you, if you are aware with this uh, particular uh, concept of uh, incubation and uh, incubation centers and incubators uh, they can be of different types uh, different uh, purposes different first areas different geographical locations private sector uh, government sectors and there are so and so many uh, so so other things okay so the uh, the important thing that the uh, entrepreneur should have to have in is, is identifying the opportunity at the right time information seeking always from where there are opportunities and how what kind of a uh, venture can be created or opportunity can be worked on persistence concern for high quality commitment and efficiency and obviously the problem solving right and then finally the goal setting the goal must be smart enough so smart is a acronym actually for five steps specific measurable attainable realistic and timely goals if all these things are worked on at the right time at right place with the right attitude definitely any person who have some passion some interest or some inclination towards the towards the uh, his own ideas he can he or she can work on that idea any time and can convert that idea into a successful uh, venture and that will uh, give a name fame and identity to a person right so that's how uh, that these are some of the examples that uh, i have uh, collected here for you the goons we have already discussed about then uh, this is one uh, kid a uh, kid of uh, he was a 16 years of uh, age in 2016 i think 16 or 18 his name is uh, tilak mehta and who has who, who, is, who was actually uh, was a 10th uh, standard child in 2016 and he was uh, he wanted to uh, actually uh, send some of the question papers or the uh, to the uh, Uh, to his to his uh, to his to his friend and he could not find a economic or a very um, reasonable uh, re reasonable way or means of uh, sending uh, that uh, papers to the friends and all so he got an he, he got an idea to work with the uh, parcels and uh, papers and parcels. aniket aniket please mute your microphone so he has clicked with an idea to start with an small venture of a courier company and he contacted uh, his uncle his uncle was working with one courier company in mumbai and uh, he has got support from him and he has uh, his his uncle has helped him to work on his idea and now uh, his company is a crores uh, is in is his his uh, his company's term was is in crores i initially uh, he has he had uh, some kind of a tie up uh, with the mumbai dabba walas for uh, this courier uh, purposes and now uh, the uh, his uh, business operations has expanded in such a way that uh, he is earning millions he is earning millions of uh, millions of rupees uh, from his venture so he has founded his uh, papers and parcels mobile app uh, is 2018 so this is uh, just an example that uh, uh, how your passion can help you to reach to your uh, objective of life and uh, goal of your uh, life right then another examples uh, that uh, you might have come across uh, in the uh, your daily life or uh, that uh, yulu cycles i hope you are familiar with we are using it in navi mumbai and these are the uh, you know the story behind this origin of the cycles bicycles or bikes anyone who have heard of this yulu cycles yulu bicycles students 
Yes, sir. Well, you know the story behind this. What? How this has got originated? Introduced into the market by Amit Gupta. You know, uh, in India, the where the first metro uh, started. First metro was in Delhi around the period of two thousand three, right? Two three, and you know the localities, or the colonies, are at some distance from the metro stations, and people used to find it very difficult for reaching to the uh, metro stations, and this person has introduced uh, these bicycles. to reach from their places to the metro stations leave that bicycle there that uh, with the it's 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 a app based bicycle okay so this is one example then this was one example in the mumbai university campus itself okay there was a cycle chalao abhiyan as a part of a social entrepreneurship projects at the university level in 2017 and uh, the, the the reason being that is uh, there was Uh, no internal transport available uh, within the range of four to five kilometers uh, because the campus is so big, and people are finding it very difficult to get an auto rickshaw uh, for a commute or for a uh, at a reasonable cost. So uh, the, what these two uh, guys, uh, this this boy and this girl did, they have introduced this concept of uh, a cycle chala abhiyan, and they have uh, actually made the cycles uh, available on the hiring basis. Okay. and that has also uh, uh, an idea at that time and uh, that idea was uh, the reason behind this idea was day to day frustrations familiar to any uh, mumbai commuter for non availability of auto rickshaws it is very difficult to get auto rickshaws in the peak hours of time in mumbai that also might be the case in pune also in the uh, some uh, very very populous uh, places right so these are some of the examples uh, this is another example uh, is about this uh, chetan Chetan Gowda, who was a 14-year child, uh, when his teacher died because of the unavailability of the blood on time. So what he did is, he has uh, uh, following this uh, laws, he has founded Khun as an NGO under the uh, name of Janvi Social Welfare Foundation in 2016. And uh, now they are work, they are operating in South India, and they have got uh, ample of uh, blood available with them. So the Uh, this is the this is a statement that what he says is we work in the blood donation arena to ensure that no life is lost due to the scarcity of the blood which is available in abundance says chetan so these are some of the examples uh, of a successful entrepreneurship who are first generation entrepreneurs right so with we started with a uh, small note that no work is easy in life or a career but one can make it easy that is also very very true so with this small note i would like to end with the session and i hope uh, that the student uh, who could uh, answer who could interact and who could listen they have understood uh, and uh, they have got some insights uh, into the uh, in the field of entrepreneurship as their career option there are some essentials that you need to work on which will uh, to some extent help you to get into the field and uh, the graphs of graph of success will be on your performance and your contribution right all the best to all of you thank you so much <coughs> thank you so much sir for making this session informative and interactive now i would like to request the convener of edsi cell dr shilpa kankonkar ma'am to propose the vote of thanks yeah one second chitishree uh, thank you so much sir i think uh, it was uh, after a very long time uh, you know uh, we've got us uh, we got such an amazing speaker who's purely talking about skill sets and purely talking about entrepreneurship as a career option we have been talking about this for a very long time but the insights that you have provided were so interesting that uh, i am sure we with the entire set of 50 60 students were
hooked on to the you know computers trying to listen to what concepts uh, you spoke about uh, having said this uh, i take this opportunity to actually thank you to spare your time your valuable time to be here and uh, talk to students about such like we say that it is the need of the hour and we are trying to push it very hard we belong to the ecosystem of startups we yes, know how yes, difficult yes. it is yes But, very difficult uh, i understand sir and thank you for acknowledging as well that uh, it goes a long way to get uh, so many things together to put up a session of this uh, station no even even conducting a session itself is not easy that i understand Absolutely. it's also it's also, I... it's also a one kind, one kind of assignment and venture and what, a venture what, and what, what what kind of a pains that the organizer has to <laughs> go through <laughs> yes so, and uh, at the same time sir what kind of pains i'm sure uh, you know uh, with your so much of experience the kind of value you've added to the table is amazing sir I, thank I, you I, so much I, it's a I, heartfelt I, gratitude from the it's my pleasure know? thank you so much yes it's my yes pleasure. from the entire fraternity of uh, neville wadia institute of management studies and uh, we'll keep continuing with this endeavor in the field of entrepreneurship of course this wouldn't have happened uh, without the support of our director dr anand dadas and uh, of course the entire uh, systems of trying to motivate students to pursue entrepreneurship of course knowing the time frame that it's not going to be a, a bed of roses kind of an initiative but somewhere i think outreach programs are required yes, and sir. you have absolutely justified the whole thing uh, thank you so much sir My is pleasure. there any questions uh, students uh, please take this opportunity of uh, speaking to dr rajesh zavre he is one of the uh, pioneers in the field of entrepreneurship especially from education ecosystem and entrepreneurship education so anything that comes and uh, it was very nice the session was really very nice thank you sir Yes, students. Do you have any questions? Yes, sir. Can I? Yeah. Sir, I want to ask that what are the three most important habits to be <laughs> a successful entrepreneur? Important habits. Yeah. First is you have to have a listening habit. Yes. Yes. I I hope you could uh, you could listen to the session <laughs> well and so you could understand uh, how listening is important. right yes, second is uh, try to make your communication as better as possible okay so listening is the first uh, step in the communication before you before you react before you respond okay yes sir so th these are the uh, two things and then uh, working on your own uh, you say the goals so you dream something for yourself okay so make it an habit thinking about it dheya jala mhanto na apan marathi madhe goal dheya okay dream about it on daily basis every day see you are you 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 into that role that is only going to help you to reach that okay make it a habit excellence is not possible in a day or a overnight excellence is yeah, an habit practice yes, yes aristotle said excellence is an habit yes right so i agree sir yeah thank you thank you sir any more questions beautiful any more questions okay i okay, think uh, yes i think yes sir people have uh, yeah student have understood and hope that they will now at they'll, least you yes. even even 5 to 6% of the students from a class if we will be able to uh, get motivated not convert yeah. at least motivated motivated yes, yes. not conversion i am not talking about conversion it will be a great uh, yes, achievement sir. for way people those who are working in this arena yes yes sir. i completely agree to you and uh, thank you for your continuous encouragement and support sir every time uh, you've been a great source and a resource and every kind of uh, support and encouragement yes. has been very and the session was absolutely very informative and uh, very hope, interesting I hope, I hope. yes sir. thank you so thank much you so and we'll uh, on first yes sir we'll definitely yeah. yes, yes sir yes sir i'm coming to yes, symbols we would like to yeah yeah in person uh, it is absolutely at the next level so i know how it is so uh, yes. when you come next time we will make sure that we will arrange something 
of yes. this at another level altogether. Sure, ma'am. Yes. Yeah? Thank, thank you, you sir. So, thank, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.